Hi, in this video we are going to look at the flow field around a supersonic rocket, and determine the drag acting on the airframe. To do this ANSYS fluent will be used, for the meshing, and as the solver. Start by importing the rocket geometry into the workbench. Open up space claim to edit the geometry. Suppress the rocket body for physics. Create an enclosure around the rocket, making it a cylinder, and align the extrusion axis with the rocket in the axial direction, and untick symmetric dimensions. Set the fore length to 200 mm, the radial distance to 400 mm, and the aft length to 1200 mm. This domain is used for tutorial purposes, for improved results, increase the domain size. Create a named section on all the outer surfaces and call it far field. Now draw the forward body of influence using an XY sketch plane around the nose cone, and transition region. Ideally choose a shape which captures the flow, but reduces the total number of elements. Use the pull tool and select no merge. Revolve this sketch around the x-axis. Triple click with the select tool and change the transparency. Draw the fin BOI for only the top fin. Using the XY plane again. This will be a rectangle 46 mil high and 300 mil long, extruded in both directions to 10 mil. Quarter symmetry will be taken, so only one fin boy will be required. If an angle of attack analysis is required, then quarter symmetry is not possible. Then use a circular pattern of four around the X axis, this will put the BOI around all four fins. Generate a sketch plane from the back surface of the 4 BOI and sketch a circle of radius 240 mm. Make sure the 4 BOI is hidden before extruding so that the circle can be extruded as one surface. And select no merge as before. Extrude to 650 mm. Slightly extrude the forward surface so that the BOIs don't share a surface, this allows the mesh to smoothly change element size. Change all the generated BOI solids to components. This is for clear part management in meshing. Now begin making the fluid regions near the nozzle. Hide the aft body tube surface so the nozzle surfaces can be seen. Create a volume extract using the two curves around the start and end of the nozzle. This will be the nozzle BOI. By working off a sketch plane from the back of the volume extract, create the nozzle wake, set the radius to 32 mm. Hide the solids contacting the sketch plane, and set an extrusion length of 500 mm. The nozzle wake and body wake are extruded to the same length and are overlapping, so the wake must be shifted back to allow the mesh to change smoothly. Begin defining the named sections of the rocket. The surfaces are named based on what rocket component they are. The only change is the nozzle inlet is called inlet, allowing fluent to detect this as a pressure inlet. Now utilize the quarter symmetry of the rocket, in order to speed up solve time. Create a plane aligned with the XY axis and rotate it about the x-axis 45 degrees to either the left or right. Use the combine tool, select the rocket enclosure as the solid and the plane as the cutter. This will split the enclosure in half. Repeat this process for the opposite side.
either suppress or delete the other three segments of the enclosure. Define the symmetry planes as named selections. They will be utilized in the meshing process. The geometry setup is now complete. Thanks for watching. The next videos in the series will be on meshing and solving.